Hi, everyone. So I'm going to be speaking with you about uh, oracles. Oracles are related to something called the oracle problem, where you need to connect a smart contract to external data securely. Because you have an oracle problem where you can't do that natively from the contract, you have a huge limitation of what you can do. You can't build many things like DeFi, insurance, or anything other than tokens. And this is the problem we work on. It's a very timely problem because there's been recent hacks related to uh, decentralized financial applications that have failing oracles. So, you know, how does this setup usually look? Basically, you have decentralized computation that's very secure. You have an oracle mechanism you rely on to securely transport data, and you have data sources. So, the first category of attacks uh, that people should really keep in mind is the capacity for that oracle mechanism to get compromised, and they try to solve this with DevOps or other, other monitoring solutions, but this often fails, and it's not a good idea, and also security through obscurity is not going to help you, so I really suggest you think a little bit deeper about this. The more recent attacks have actually been people going after data sources, and this is a problem in the architecture that people decide to do. They say, hey, um, I don't know anything about data, but I'm going to use uh, an exchange API from one exchange or a single DEX. Looks good today, so it'll be fine in two months, but then it's not fine because it becomes thinly traded. It's because there's a flaw in the smart contract, and then you lose a lot of money, and people don't like DeFi. So I want people like DeFi, so please, when you build a nice DeFi app, make sure you can consider both the security of the Oracle mechanism and the, the quality of the data source and how it'll look in a few months because you're introducing a large attack surface area that's a very serious dependency. Now, on-chain DEX prices are doubly dangerous because now you're saying, I'm going to go to one exchange that's probably going to be thinly traded in a market where volume swings very quickly, and I'm going to have an oracle mechanism that might have smart contract flaws in a language that nobody really understands that we can't formally verify. So now you're doubly in, in danger, and uh, I wouldn't put client funds in that situation. Let's please learn from the lesson. Uh, we, we, you know, it's, it's not a good idea. Now, what can you do? My advice is use a secure Oracle mechanism, whether it's Chainlink or whatever else. Go to high-quality data aggregators. Rely on them to smooth out data. Bloomberg, Reuters, data companies, the reason there's, they're multi-billion dollar companies in the financial sector, they smooth out risk. Now, if you really want to smooth out risk, you get multiple secure Oracle mechanisms that go to multiple data sources. You smooth out risk at the data level, at the Oracle level, and you can assess risk and scale up the amount of security you need as value increases. That's what we do. So if you need a high-quality Oracle, we have a bunch of them, not of enough to fit on this page. If you're building a DeFi application, you can go on alone on this one. Good, you, know, you can try that. Um, you're going to save a lot of time and be more secure if you just use a good Oracle mechanism connected to good data sources. That's my sincere advice to you.